back, and I just sort of waited till football season. Well, you're losing it right now. It's all water weight, but you're losing it up here. It's all right. So, Whitey, I'll buy a, a Gatorade from you at halftime. Second down and goal from the three-yard line. Uh, Carlson, the lone running back, to get a motion. One running back to the near side, and they're going to hand off to Carlson. Oh, I think ball. he put the ball on the turf as Carlson and Curran ran into each oh, other. The Cardinals God. saying you got if they it, have Cardinals. the football, we'll have to wait and see. And it's Fondy oh. football. Jake Dieter comes out of the pile with the football. Well, I said this may be a game of turnovers, and uh, so far, that has been the key. I thought turnovers might make the difference as far as what team takes the lead and runs away with it. It appears neither team wants to take oh. the lead and run away with it. They both want to turn it over. That time, uh, you said uh, Curran turned around and uh, Carlson ran right into him and the ball popped out. And again, if, if you would have put my money on anybody on the field that in a scrum are going to come out with it, I'd put my money on Jake uh, Dieter. I mean, just look at the kid. Like I say, this the, he is a man. He is an absolute man out there. And, but now you have to play with stake-free football if you're the Cardinals, and you could just be giving this right back. 7.04 left in the first quarter. Fumble. Handoff, oh, and the Letourneau almost uh, <laughs> gave up the football, and he ended up corralling it and gets across the 5 to the 6 or 7-yard line, maybe the 8. You're right, that thing popped out. If there was any penetration off the defensive line there, they have that foot. East has the football. He bobbled it. It was hanging in the air, and fortunately he held on and ended up gaining about 4. So they'll bring the play in with uh, Ruby. 6.37 and counting here in the first half. Manasha, Appleton North leads Manasha 7 to nothing after one. Coppingst, handoff right side, Letourneau steps through one tackle, it's up to the 14-yard uh, line. Going to be near first down yardage, I think he got it. I think he has that there. So a nice job by the Cardinals to kind of at least to get a little bit out of the shadow of the end zone. <laughs> on the right side, Zimmerman back in the game after getting his bell rung on that interception. Coppings out of the pistol. Handoff right side again, Letourneau. He's got the 15-yard line, maybe up to the 16, going over his center on the right side as he dive under the six-minute mark. Well, this is the Packer game on K107.1 FM. Also, FODLTV.com, FootOfTheLakeTV.com is, is where going to be your source of the videos. Foot of the Lake? I think it's, it's FODL. FODLTV.com. Foot of Dull Lake? It's uh, Appleton North leads Manasha 7-0 at the end of the first quarter up the valley. Big game, a lot of TV coverage of that one up there tonight. Here, we're on KFIZ. Ooh. Right side, Coppings, gonna fire it across oh, oh. field. Let that thing uh, hang oh, up there, <laughs> and it was caught on the far side by Zimmerman. Gain of about three, and that one had pick six all over it. Well, I'll tell you what, he had good zip yes. on it. It's just that they're playing really tight. Now, you are setting them up for if you can give them time for a pump and go, and there will be nobody around. They are jumping that route, and you can give a, uh, Here comes Whitey Toll with a Gator. Whitey, how much do I owe you? Dollar and a half. Dollar and a half. Do I have to give you a tip for uh, coming up, Whitey? I heard you because I knew I was listening. Well, all right. You know what? I think I might stiff Whitey because they only have two bucks. Did you bring change like when I go to A&W? <laughs> Whitey, owe me, owe me at the next home game. <laughs> Thanks, Whitey Toll. Third down and six. Copping's going to roll to the near side. Going to fire it over the middle. Oh, it was boy. tipped. I think that got tipped somewhere in the second line of defense, and uh, it was intended for Zimmerman. It's fourth down. But again, not at that time. It wouldn't necessarily make sense. But at some point here, you've thrown two of those quick hitch patterns about the three yards or so, and both times the defender has been right there. He's jumping it. You have to. You have set it up. You have to come and give that little pump fake, and you will have a young man running completely unencumbered down the field. So it's going to be fourth down, and Copping's going to punt. A little confusion here by the Cardinals. Bauer is going to stand back at his own 48-yard line with four and a half left in the first half. Good snap. Low end over end kick. It's going to bounce at about the 50-yard line, and uh, oh, Bauer's going to take it at the 48, the 50, 45, 40, tiptoes down the sideline and steps out of bounds somewhere between the 40 and the 30-yard line. up to see the mark. What well, do you think? I, or I ordered a Gatorade and got it up to the booth. Think if I ordered a pizza, it'd show up here. I know one thing: the pizza wouldn't be cold. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> We'd have a nice hot pizza. I know that for sure up here. 4.22 left, so Appleton East, we, you just mentioned about 10 minutes ago how Fond du Lac is winning the field position battle. All of a sudden, that interception flipped. swung it all. Now, the Cardinals kept them out of the end zone, but now they're playing with their back to their own goalpost. See if they continue to hand the ball to Carlson. He is their horse. Ocean uh, Flum from right to left, hand off to Carlson, up the gut, and he's going to jump through the initial line of scrimmage, but... Uh, I think that was Tim Simmons again, who uh, who actually made contact at the line of scrimmage, and uh, Carlson just uh, fell forward. Gains two right there. And tomorrow we got North Fondy and Mayville at one o'clock. UW marching bands at, at North Fondy at the Hump tomorrow. They're gonna have a bunch of members of the yes. band. Yes, little Let's fifth quarter action, little halftime show. Let's see if the Cardinals, maybe if East tries to go to the air, see if the Cardinals can shift this field position battle in a hurry with a pick. Oh, play fake, uh, pitch left side, Flum, and he's going to uh, get rocked on the far side. That was Sean Schlagenhoft. Got 23 down there making so the tackle. With King was down uh, there. Jeremiah, was that Jeremiah? Jeremiah Zilke also in there. I'll tell you what, I've been impressed so far with the Cardinals tackling. Uh, they've come up and uh, laid some wood here tonight. There haven't been many gaping holes like we've seen, like we saw last year. Today. Not yet. Now, again, uh, to be fair, East is not known this year coming in as an explosive offense, but there's no way you could be anything but happy with what you've seen so far other than one run. Third and four for the Patriots at their own, at the 20, 28 handoff up the gut to Carlson. He's going to be... going to be just short, I, I think. think. Well, I think uh, the mark not. is going to give him the first. So we'll have to wait and see where the I mark comes from the short. officials. Yeah? They had to get right on to the uh, 25-yard line, so it's going to be fourth down and about an inch. Don't even have to measure with 250 left in the first half. No score on your floor quest scoreboard. Tim Simmons is going to have to come off the field. He looks like he's banged up a little bit. Now uh, he's going to turn right back around. Oh, Look, I, I love Simmons' build. What is he listed at? And they're going to bring in Big Ben, Mar ben uh, Maruska. The 285-pound junior is going to line up right on the nose. And now we're going to get a Immel Insurance and Financial Services timeout from Appleton East. The back in 60 seconds is Cardinal Football KYZ. <laughs> There's only one way to quality automotive repair and service. Follow the road to Bob's 151 Transmission Center, one half mile west. for Appleton East at to the Fond du Lac 25-yard line. Coran under center. He's got Carlson as his lone running back. And they're going to hand off to Carlson. He's got the first down, and he breaks one tackle, and he gets stood up by Simmons at about the 23. And uh, that'll move the chains for Appleton East with 227 left. And, you know, 227 with a team like Appleton East, you send that at the 22-yard line, but, you know, they're kind of been grinding it out as well. Where grinding it out, I don't know what their kicking game is like. That's a, a, And uh, that, that would be a question here, but you're right, Wade. They're, their best bet, I think, is to continue to grind it out because they've trapped, dropped back the pass twice, and he hasn't even come close to getting the ball off. He's been sacked so quickly. So I think you just keep pounding the ball to, to Carlson. Maybe you get lucky and get outside on an option, but... And all they're going to pitch it to the near side. Two Gurner spinning around the outside. He gets stood up at the 25-yard line. Great discipline here by the Cardinal de defense. Boy, that was the Mason Ruby over on the near side. Also coming in was Alex Schuler, uh, turning it upfield. And Tim Simmons is over there as well. I'll tell you what, that was close to a block in the back by East. The young man was trying to lay a block, and, and the Cardinals got past him. He must have pulled up. <laughs> 